Respect Mother Nature. Love. That's how you start a podcast, right? Yeah. All right. Hello. Hello, podcast land. <laughs> We're actually live here in at the university. Level two. Level two with you, with Craig. You. Craig and Andrew Beckman. Craig Wright. Andrew Beckman, Craig Wright combo. Well, so... We'll get we'll get into it. There is a bit of a change in the podcast. Do you feel it? Yeah. Do you feel it? It's it got, good, eh? It got all professional. It got all professional. It, it does. We have to keep it going, oh. and um, so that's how we're gonna do it. Gonna. So this is basically just a conversation between two engineering students, and we're gonna be talking about our our story, how we um got here today, I guess. And as awkward as it's gonna be to ask Craig this first question. <laughs> <laughs> how did you? How did you? How did you end up here, man? How, how, did, how did it all? How did it all start for you? That's that's how I should a put series it. of mistakes, mm-hmm. bad choices over a long period of time from school. <laughs> <laughs> Similar I, story to mine. So should we say the university's actual name? No. no, no okay, good, good point. Okay, so I ended up at blank university. Um, mm-hmm. Why don't you just say uni, man? Just at the uni. Keep it general. Keep it general. Keep it flowing. University is uh, university. College, wherever you are coolies. on the planet. Yeah. Um, external. Offered it external. That's why. It was a monetary choice. So, mm-hmm. it was like, the uni that we're going to offered an external course to be an engineer by... There you go. So, I was just like, okay, cool. That'll work for me. I like money, so I was planning to work full-time mm-hmm. so, and study <clears> full-time. <throat> and that lasted about six months. Nice. So And then it was just like, okay, I have to quit my job and yep. actually do university property <laughs> properly. <laughs> So, it's tough, eh? It's uh, <clears throat> it's tricky. It's the real deal, man. Like I, I, I can, like I understand where you come from as a mature age student, man. Like you got bills to pay. Yeah. At the end of the day, you got bills to pay. If you, <laughs> there's no money coming in, you're going backwards. And it, you go backwards pretty quick, like real quick. Credit card red. Oh, <laughs> that's the worst. That's the, <laughs> like you look at the credit card and you're like. Ugh. That's, mm-hmm. that's not going well. Mm-hmm. And then the time thing as well. Uni takes a lot of time. First year even. Like you think, oh yeah. You look back now and you're like, first year, meh. But at the time when you're learning basic algebra. Well, it's, it's, that's that's like, your level though. That's you, that's where you're at. Yeah. yeah. And, and as, you, as, you get, as you go on, you progress and then you, it just seems like it's always difficult. Yeah. It's do, a, do you feel that? It, it never gets easy. Yeah, you're just like, I'm never going to cruise through any subject ever. <laughs> well, the ones you do cruise through are, uh, uh, I don't know, the ones you do cruise through. You expect at the start of the semester. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 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 But <laughs> getting, back, getting back to how I got to uni, um, yes, sorry, as, as a mature age student, like, you know, I never followed that dream. You know that dream where you go from school mm-hmm. and you think, cool, I'm going to go to uni. And then I went and got a trade. Mm-hmm. And what were you doing? electronic service tech or something like that so back in dubbo back in their little country town um i was uh working for some uh like electronic store back when they had vhs and like you wow. know camcorders that, that were the size of a half a fridge that's cool yeah it, it was like mechanical and it was electronics and it was like the you know that's when a vcr cost like twelve hundred dollars in long play mode you know what I mean? Long play? What's that? Long play is when it used to go like a, a three-hour cassette would go for like six hours. It'll go like more condensed, so it would play slower. Wow. Someone's going to correct me on this and it'll be like, <laughs> Scott will be like, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the best part. When people get involved, man, that's what we want. Yeah. We want people to get involved with this. Yeah. Especially when it was your job to be right about those things. <laughs> you're wrong. But um, yeah, back working on the old long play VHS uh, and flat screen TVs, the big thunder boxes, like the old rank arena tele- tellies and stuff like that. This is before me, man. No, man. These are all coffins. That you, like, I've got two vertebrae in my back that says, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so lifting up these old coffins all day long, did my apprenticeship in, in Dub Vegas in uh, a little country town in New South Wales. And I um, uh, drove to Tamworth, which is about three hours, every couple of weeks to go to TAFE. Wow. Because, you know. For that. For that. For that course, mm-hmm. yeah. And got really wrapped up into that before I finished school, started doing it before I finished school and then just continued on with that and then just progressed through all the different types of electronic jobs Mm -hmm. afterwards. And once I finished that, I was just like, well, 
I'm in Brisbane. I'm working at the one of the finer gambling establishments in the area. And yeah. And um, I think to myself, what the hell am I doing here? You know, like uh, this is rubbish. And then since then, it was just like a myriad of steps to get towards the uni thing because, you know, the trade certificate doesn't get you into uni. So mm. Was it like a realization? Yeah. Sitting in a dungeon, mm. like well, I think about two stories underground. Oh. Yeah. Locked in this box. Well, I had an Xbox, of course. So oh, wow. I snuck it in, man. You're trying to sneak. Okay. Side story. <laughs> Xbox One? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> just Xbox. No one. Oh, no, the no, Xbox. This, I mean the original. The original Sorry, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> like the first, the one that looked like... The black one. Four bricks together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> what was I playing? Like, probably like GoldenEye or something. Nice. But, um, the one that came with it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we had like this cupboard. It was like... it was. We were pretty legit. So I had to, I had to have an Xbox in my backpack mm. to get through security clearance to get to smuggle this Xbox in downstairs... So I could play it because I was working like 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Oh. and 24, 23 at the time. Nice. Just massively happy about having an Xbox. So <laughs> smuggled it in to an underground casino uh, staff area and then got locked away in this huge, probably the size of the room we're in now, probably like 20 square meters nice. or something like that area. And um, just playing, uh, playing Xbox at like 4 o'clock in the morning and just – thought to myself what a waste you know what i mean like you're just sitting here wasting your life yeah yeah you're having a good well, as long time. yeah yeah but you know what i mean like yeah. you could do more there's then, no um progress from there was there was there any room to move like no that's not that was at the height of my career like yeah. as a electronic service tech dude mm-hmm. like you you go from that to management and then that's it that's as high as you could go and at this stage i was you know chief you officer, blah, right. You were high as you could go. Yeah, much. If I, I could go like one more step and that was it. And that step didn't open up for another 20 years. I'm like, and, wow. And that's like minimum. It was it was good wage mm. back in the day. Like I think it was at like, oof, it's probably like double what I'm on now. But <sighs> it was just, just shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, how old are you now? If you don't mind me asking. No, I am. So we can get perspective of the 30, timeline. Yeah, I'm like 33. Oh, okay. So yeah. that's a solid like 10 years ago. Yeah, there was a long transition. <laughs> like, I, well, I, I had to wow. transition and I was like, I'm going to go do study uni. And then so I went to TAFE and skills tech and all that stuff. And it just wasn't cutting it. I wasn't like thinking this is what not I wanted, what I, I didn't want to do. So mm-hmm. um, I, I went overseas and climbed some mountains and shit like nice, that. Nice, man. I went to Canada and snowboarded for a year and did all sorts of things over there. Yeah, dude, awesome. life experiences. Yeah. That's the best. And then – I think it's a long, long story short. Nah, dude, go long. I think um, long play. Um, <laughs> long play, yes, bringing it back. Exactly. I like it. I um, went over to Canada and I'm sitting there in the snow and talking to this mechanical engineer dude and he was cool because I was doing some um, – I was working for a security company as a logistics officer and just sitting there thinking, you know, this is, this is fun but, you know, eh. And there's this mechanical engineering dude, and he was just telling me like what what he what he did, and he was on the pipelines for the can, uh, the Canadian oil thing mm. that they got going on. So is this the guy that inspired you to do mechanical this engineering? This is the guy. Nice I man. I don't even remember his name. He was just a cool dude. Dude, I that's didn't even awesome. have to ask him his name. He was just dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's the best. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, this is like the longest story ever. Um, no, dude, it's good. We've got the time, man. We've got time. We've only been going for twelve minutes, man. Don't um, be shy. So, yeah, I'm sitting in the snow talking to a mechanical engineering dude and he's just like, you know, this is, you can choose whatever you want. You can do this. You can do that. You can, you know, you can draw it up on a computer and like six months from now, it's the size of a house that you're making, you know, like, or it could be a production line. But essentially, that's you leaving your stamp on the world. Mm -hmm. And I was like, cool. Yeah, man. And he's like, you can do it. Are you good at math? And I was like, no. (laughs) He's like, we'll just get good at it. I'm like, fine. So, came back. Got a okay sort of job back in the same sort of field that I was working in before, and then just bread and butter. Signed up to uni, and then and that was two thousand and what was it, thirteen or something like that. Two thousand thirteen, we started together. Dude. Well, we did. Oh, let's let for the people that don't know, mm. might be interested, maybe not. But um, we started our first year together, and we are pretty much what in our third year now. Yeah, third year now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty much. Yeah, this is this is our fourth year. Well, yeah, our fourth at, at year, uni. but we're um. 
<laughs> sitting around talking shit. Yeah, drinking um, coffee. Drinking coffee, doing it, sharing the stories, man. But it's good. That's my story. How about, well, let's, let's throw it over to your story. Sure, now. man. Well, oh, the story you, of the Beckman. Well, dude, my actual story started. I um, did the TP, well, the bridging pro- program to get to uni, hmm. basically. And um, did that for two years. So basically just redid year 11 and 12. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then got it, got um, enough to get into the associate degree mm. and then did my first year and then transferred into the bachelor. And but, but my actual inspiration for to study engineering, this is the weirdest one, but I was watching Prison Break. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's actually pretty engineering. It's got well, like, yeah, well, schematics that, tattooed well, that, onto it. Well, that, was the, that was my inspiration. I was watching this. That show about this dude, he was an engineer and he wants to break his brother out of prison and whatever. You know, obviously that didn't really relate to me. But um, yeah, I just I just thought it was really cool like that he was an engineer and just, just the way he went about things. It was just inspirational for me. And I was just like, man, I want to be an engineer. Yeah. And then I was just like, oh, yeah, um, going to USQ. I was doing, already doing the program and then yeah. I was I originally enrolled the TPP program that I did or the bridging course I did originally enrolled to do um business but then i then i'm halfway through that business course all, all the things i was doing to get it like the prerequisites to get into university i was doing them and then i watched that show and then i was like inspired to be like an engineer and then i was like oh, i want to do engineering did it take the entire season to inspire you to be- <clears throat> no 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 or no it, like- it was pretty early it was the first season yeah. <clears throat> and i changed it up pretty quick i was just like man i'm doing engineering and i'm like here today yeah <laughs> <laughs> just like you know, like just walking around making noises, and then I'm like, ah, engineering. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's funny how you find your way. Some people take, you know, a couple of years. Some people take a decade. Well, I originally I mean, wanted to do in, um to go to uni because I thought it was cool. Yeah, I was. I was like socially. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. because I got out of school. I wasn't good at school, man. I went to school to play football because mm. I was one of those numb nuts. And then I sort of w- w- I got out of that sort of um, just that jock, you know that real jock, yeah. dickhead. Was that you? you that was me, jock? man. I was, jock? Man, I was the captain of my football team. Dude, I was the guy that in smoked year, cigarettes I was a sin- in year eleven. <laughs> you were that guy. I was that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just, spoke to those dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I drove to the, I drove my car to the pub to have beers at lunch. Nice. Do you know that? I didn't even have my license until I finished school. Neither did I. <laughs> I caught the bus every day. Really? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I had a mini moke. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, you're sorry. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that 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 was the main thing. I just pretty much wanted to fit in with society, I guess. And then, hmm. Hey, you, do you feel the pressure to 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 go to uni and to get that degree? If you don't, get it, you're like it was it was it, it really like I'm looking back now and like because you evolve as a person, man. I I have. I know I have. I've been doing this. Well, I did the bridging course for two years, so this is like my sixth year of study. So I started that when I was 21. I'm fucking. I'm 26 this year. So a bit, you know, solid, solid effort there. Yeah. And um, yeah. And geez, I forgot what I was gonna say. You were so you basically prison break. Oh no, the um, how the pressure. The pressure. So it's yeah, also yeah. responsibility to go. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. I, yeah. And I'm, I, still, I'm sorry, I'm still fixated on Prison Break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's <laughs> all good. Yeah, oh, it's the best show. Yeah. If you haven't watched, it, you have to go see yeah, it. Yeah, you have to. It's yeah, the best. You, you Adam good. MacGyver for me. MacGyver. MacGyver. Yeah. Key. Didn't watch MacGyver. Key. You got. Oh my god. I'll get that. I'll bring it in. But bring it up. It'll change your life. <laughs> so um, so the so pressure, cool. man. Yeah, yeah, like uh, like I was saying, like we evolve, and just like over the last five years, man, I, I feel completely different. Like from when I even started engineering, like it's what I want to do and stuff but you just have a different perspective just as you get older you have a different perspective on things in, in life you know and it's almost like what we're talking about is like the social acceptance that you have as being an engineer because you're so you're, you're basically a professional mm. you, you're so highly um, considered if for you know lack of a better word in amongst the um, com- community as like a um, you know someone important white collar worker well yeah yeah Yeah. you're you know you're an engineer like everyone you you know you say to people i'm studying engineering people like whoa yeah you must be good at maths you're like not really i just (laughs) write it down a lot and get better that way i guess (laughs) my dad says oh you're gonna be a mechanic are you like what (laughs) no (laughs) i'm not gonna be a mechanic i'm studying mechanical engineering not being a mechanic you'll be working with mechanics you don't be throwing the tools around no i won't be touching You'll be instructing the guy. But I see where you're coming from, though. Like, mm. I, I think I felt that, too. I think I always felt that, 
you wouldn't get accepted into the conversations that you if you're dealing with certain people and yep. a certain crowd if you don't have that degree <clears throat> behind you in anything really like it could that's be an it. arts degree mm-hmm. and you're okay but mm-hmm. not the same that that's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with an arts degree um, but uh, it's uh, you know what I mean like it's mm. it's a thing it's a it's a shadow behind you I and mean, maybe yeah. it's a, your own self hang up or whatever for sure but it's it, it, I think everyone that. thinks about it like that man. It, well, yeah. Are we the only ones that think like that? Probably I not. Know. I don't know. I think we've both been hanging out with like people that are already quite quite smart. So, like for me, mm. I was hanging out and in Canada with some really articulate, smart people who've done their masters in criminology or oh, all okay. that type of stuff. And they're like, well, "What did you do?" And I was like, "Take yeah. certificate." <laughs> <laughs> well, you, yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I can tell. I can understand where you're coming from, especially when you're in that circle yeah. and that. It's almost like they're belittling you because you haven't gone and done that, you know, four four or five years wherever at a school and got the ticket. You haven't proven – yeah, you haven't done the miles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's basically trying to tell someone to go to university when you're not even going to university. Yeah. Like, oh, man, you should go to uni. It's like, hold on a second. Did you go to uni? Why didn't you go to uni? So it's almost like you have to be talking from experience. I don't know if that's why what, what we're getting at there. But I think university, man, for us – as engineers, is it's just the key to the door. Yeah, that's all it is, man. It's a piece of paper that gives you a key to open that door, and then once you step inside that world, it's up to you what you do with that. Yeah, you can run with it as far or as as as. as yeah, because you hear a lot of people, want. man. They graduate and it's like, oh, but there's not enough work out there for you guys. Dude, did you hear about the last year's um, graduation? Uh, one specific person in particular got HDs in everything. Mm-hmm. Final year thesis, HD again, mm-hmm. right? So he's got his Bachelor of Honours. He can pretty much pick where he wanted to go mm-hmm. and said, oh, I'm not, I, I, I don't want to do it anymore. I might do business wow. instead. Like, wow. and it took him like, what? He, and he did it four times, like full four units every semester, did summer semesters as well, did extracurriculum, was a meetup leader for everything, wow. role model for everyone, blah. As soon as he finished, boom, not for me. And that's because he went straight from school and thought, you know, must have dartboarded it and gone, I'll do civil engineering. And then it's not for me. Didn't even get in there. Man, I think that's a lot of people that come from school that happens to. Because, mm. I, man, that window from, I, I think, from when you leave school to about 21, there's that's a huge window, I think, just in <laughs> just in life experience. It, it, I'm talking from my, my experience as well. Like, that's all I can really speak from. Mm how I've changed as a person. And from when I was 18, man, I look back, I'm only 26, man. And from when I was 18, 19, 20, I feel like I was just a complete numb nuts. I didn't know shit. I still don't know anything, but I've, I'm a little bit more aware. Yeah, slightly less of the numb nuts. Yeah, yeah, slightly thing, yeah. less. You know, I've got a bit of feeling there now. <laughs> <laughs> i got a tingle, a physical sensation. <laughs> There's a nice sensation going on. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think like... You should go find. You should find yourself first before you commit to such a huge degree. Like, and, mm-hmm. and for the people like who have gone straight out of school, you know, keep mm-hmm. going. Well, there's through. nothing wrong with that. Some but, people know what they want to do. Yeah. Some people just don't. Some people just take a long. Sorry, to cut you off. But some people just take longer to work shit out. I guess. And yeah. some people never work their shit out. Well, see, you've worked yours out, and you're sort of, six. sort of. Well, you're- <laughs> well, well, man. At the end of the day, we're all winging it, aren't we? We are. You we're all just winging it. We don't really know what's going on. The point and hope sort of <laughs> method. Well, you've got to set yourself some goals, man, and just sort of aim there. And see what happens. And it's visualize. Cause, cause it's, yeah, it's, it's a very double-sided coin. You could go one way. You could take too long and to find yourself and never find yourself. Mm-hmm. Or you could just pick a path, see what happens, and go for it. It's well, yeah. It's difficult. I think it's very uh, – well, you see the mature age students we've got with us like uh, that started at the same time as we did. Mm-hmm. A couple of different people like – you see a lot of them fade. Well, yeah. like we saw quite a few, especially like Coca Cola Man. Like, <laughs> was destined no, to fade. No name. No name. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he faded quite quickly. But um, well, you know, he's that. That's another thing we have to probably respect as people. I, I I've learned this. Well, not not that I've learned it. I just feel that I've become aware. I guess is just understanding that everyone's path is different. Mm. Just because, like, it's they're not at, like going through the process that we're going through as quick as we are, doesn't mean that they're not on their own little unique path 
to their destiny. And just because it's not what you wanted in your life and it's in their life that's different to yours, I guess, you know, it's more fulfilling for them, I guess. That's why they're doing it. Yeah. And the, the things that you do are fulfilling to you, hence why you do it. Exactly. And, the, and the things that I do for me are, are fulfilling for me. And that's what makes me happy. At the end of the day, it's about being happy in what you're doing, eh? And that changes too. That constantly mm. evolves. Like what exactly. Made, what made me happy like six years ago would probably bore the shit out of me right now. Exactly. I'm not in the valley anymore pumping the clubs and doing whatever because – was me boring that was me yeah i used to be a weekend warrior yeah weekend Good warrior. Time, so, right? oh that's your 18 that's your 18 19 20 man you have to do you, have to, you yeah. have to get it out of your system dude yeah. get it out go and do it and then just come back It'd be boring as hell because <laughs> <laughs> because right, what what there's going to be a point in your life not that i've experienced it yet but you're going to get older and you're going to be like damn i should have done that i hope not because you're only going to get older from now yeah. Oh, deep. It's gone deep. <laughs> it, it goes deeper. Man. It does go deeper because, like, what you were saying, like, directly what you were saying before about people like getting getting it together, basically, is it's almost like a realize that some people, some like I said, some people do, some people don't, man. But you realize, for me, is there's an there's an expiration date. Mm. for yourself it's a finite amount of time. Well, yeah, you've only got a certain amount of time. This is a temporary state of being, and you have to. Do it now. And if you're not doing it now, when are you going to do it? If it's a dream and if it's a hope that you want, mm. you got to go for it. you got to do it now, man. It. If it's nursing, education. Anything. If do what you love. You never work a day in your life. It's true. I've heard that a few times. That's yeah. the best. That's going to be good. But another good one as well is like to get your shit together is one that I like is be the hero in your own story. Yeah. Just, yeah. just if you were going to write a story about your life – and you wrote it down, and you read it, would you be happy with it? Oh, I'd, I'd probably omit a few things. You'd have right. to, but yeah. <laughs> so can we censor it? Censor you d- some you, of the you're stuff, basically the yeah, director yeah. of your own movie, That's man. That's good, okay. And, if, and if, you're, if, if it's a hit, you produced it. But if it's a failure, you also produced that one too. Just put lots of explosions in it. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> Bomb expert. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, man. All right. Next, yeah. uh, what else you got up there? I don't know, man. Where we're going? We're going all right here. What, what are you, how are you feeling? What about man? some tips? What about some tips? All or, right. Or Stre- like, um, I think the biggest problem that most people face, for me anyway, from like, is the stress of uni. Yes, the stress of uni. You just rocked up, semester one, 2016. You're a brand new uni student. Mm-hmm. What are the tips that you think you could get, get yep. going on that, dude? Be realistic about like your schedules. I think, mm. For, you know, there's a reason why they tell you, um, you know, read read the study schedule, follow the study schedule, mm. um, you know, create. I don't know. I, I, I try to average, like they say, ten hours a subject. Be realistic about it. You need at least ten hours per subject. That's uh, that's that's pretty good. I, I it's think time. Get, so it's time is going to be the biggest thing that's going to stress you out. The time, man, yeah. and getting it done, just getting the work in. It, that's what it comes back to as well. Just even anything, man, yeah. is the work. We, we we spoke about this the other day. Yeah. It's just the work, and if you you know, and you know, and you know in yourself, man, if you've done the work, you know, you you know, if you missed that lecture, you should have won. You, you, you know, you you fight that battle every day of like, you just lie to yourself basically, but, and you just got to stop lying to yourself. I think it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna do this study today, and then you're like, uh, maybe in an hour, I've got to go do something else that I don't need to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the it's the it's YouTube and Facebook that will yep. be your biggest enemy. They're the worst. But I think, like you said, the, the thing that one of the biggest survival tips is definitely time management. Getting that getting that done, getting that sorted out will cause you less stress like if you've got your assignment Mm -hmm. and as an engineer first year we're all the same civil mechanical Mm -hmm. yeah yeah everything's going the same um all those primary courses are going to be a big leap from school or trade or wherever you're coming from so you you need to chuck that time at it and Mm -hmm. try not to bite off more than you can chew i Mm -hmm. think that's the thing you be realistic in okay maybe the first year you could probably do four units every semester but Mm -hmm. if you're under the pump and stressed out you don't have to do four. You can do three. It's going to take you a bit longer. You might be able to do some catch up on summer semester, yep. but there's always options, and you don't have to finish it in four years. Like it's, you, you, the role is not going anywhere. Like it's going to be exactly. relatively the same climate it is now. And if it takes an extra year, meh. 
That's exactly right, man. And not, most people don't do it in four. Man. Well, you have to work your ass off to get it done in four years. Like it's, it hurts just to think about it. Like you, you wouldn't want to be working more than fifteen hours a week. Yeah, if you're doing true. four subjects. Yeah. And if you are then twenty hours at the most, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's, depending on your job, mm. you're going to have that stress. You know. Well, I only work twenty hours a week, and I'm doing like three units. Yeah, so do I. I'm, yeah. I'm do. I, that's what I do. I work twenty hours, three in a prac. I don't count it. Prac is one. Yeah, yeah pra- prac's a pass fail. So you can you can really just wing those ones. Yeah. But it, you shouldn't say that. You should be probably putting all the effort in and doing it that properly. Was pass fail. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's here, be man. honest. Let's just be honest here. All right. I was trying to be nice. I know you were, but fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty nine minutes. Edit that f out. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to. Okay. Um, All right. So definitely time management. That's huge, man. Yeah. That is humongous. There's other tips as well. I think coffee. Coffee is great. Don't Ooh. get too addicted. Or well, bring your own, man, because it's expensive. It's like five bucks a cup and you have I, – I know I have three cups minimum yeah, a good. day. One in the morning, one on my lunch break, and then easily one you know, throughout the day. Or, just you just know, keep you trucking. Yeah. Re- Three minimum, man. So that's that's fifteen bucks right there. You do that every day. That's work it out. Do the math. Yeah, that's- I, I went on um, certain on online sale house place and got myself a pretty sweet coffee machine worth about two grand for like a hundred bucks. Nice gum tree. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Rocked up to this dude's place and I'm like boom, and now I just put like the world's cheapest beans in it, and you know, it's just nice, you know, man. Done. Do, oh, well, apart from the one I just bought today. I think yeah. I buy like one a day then, so it still works out pretty good. Well, do you have long blacks or what? No. Normal, just black. No, it's cappuccino. Long black. I like the froth. Oh, cappuccino. Oh, you like the froth. Nice. Yeah. A little bit of froth in there, mate. I no, just go long blacks, man. What's that got to do with engineering? Nothing. Coffee, man. <laughs> Coffee it's everything to do with engineering. Yeah, that's true. That's the cong- cognitive, cognitive function. Spit it out. Cognitive function. Enhancing. Yeah. Enhancing the cognitive imagine, function. Imagine mm-hmm. if you just, put, just like step back and imagine what coffee has made. It's just like what, what like in indirect way, coffee made like that stupid like building in London. You're like, you know, the, the cucumber thing. You know that one. No. That like the, okay, this is, this is a really stupid building in London. And let me uh, let me quickly look it up. What's it? What is it called? I think they call it the cucumber. Just go London cucumber. 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 Building. Yeah, building. Have a look at it. <laughs> yeah. So the cucumber building. Yeah. In London. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. I see. I see. It's it. a monstrosity. <laughs> Wow, it looks actually pretty. Uh, looks like a sex toy, to be honest. Yeah, it looks in uh, nature. Okay, so I'm guessing coffee made that. Okay. Yeah. So coffee made that. No, but I'm thinking it would. Someone is on a lot of coffee going. That's a great idea. Oh, is that what you're getting at? Okay, That's okay, what I was okay. At, yeah. oh, okay, I thought you actually said like the company coffee made it. I was just like, where are we going with this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, <it's laughs> anyway, that's a freaking. That's a beautiful piece of work, though. Yeah. If um anyone wants, if anyone's interested in buildings. In architecture, man, that's actually not – yeah, it's an interesting shape. They I haven't a, seen anything like they that. They built a concave one that actually reflects light onto a pave, on the pavement. Can you see act- that? Yeah, yeah, I've been there. I threw a rock at it. Oh, um, what? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Vandal. <laughs> What's it good? There's a convex one. There's a convex building in London. What the hell's a convex? Uh, concave mirror one. It, it burns the sidewalk. sidewalk. Just look, burning sidewalk, sidewalk building. Look it up, and it's just like superheating the sidewalk and burning cars because the refraction of light. I can say refraction, but I can't say concave. Nice. Um, yeah. Is it in London? Yeah. It's called London Skyscraper Death Ray Reflection. <laughs> it's <laughs> melting cars. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. That's the link. Hold on, I clicked on it. Far out. Yeah, keep going. Sorry, dude. So, so that's like a, an example of not using coffee, maybe. Mm. Didn't think that one through all the way. So that's some. See, that's maybe something we could probably do is look up some some engineering disasters Building and talk on, um, or even just anything, man. Anything that we can find, man. That this is cool, man. That's good stuff. You should this is cool. So it says London skyscraper. This is the this is the um headline. This is um from the National Post dot com. Credible source, I'm assuming. Uh, London skyscrapers death ray reflects is uh, reflection is melting cars, burning businesses, but also cooking eggs. Yeah, nice. nice. <laughs> Between the car melting and we're like, what are you gonna do? Oh, I'll cook breakfast. Okay, That's your nice. business is burning down, but oh, yeah, breakfast is all <laughs> breakfast is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sweet. <laughs> oh, let's, keep, uh, let's keep it rolling. All right, what 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 else? Um, so, <clears throat> oh, so time time is a huge thing for us, right? 
before we go any further, we – so what about – I've got here – we we spoke about the inspirations. Um, Survi- uni survival. We, 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 we talked a little bit about the stress relief. What did we, we – I think we did a sport. You know what I mean? Like, or, or a hobby or an outlet. Definitely. What, what did we say originally before? Coffee. Well, yeah, we were talking time management. Time management. Yeah, we're talking yeah. about stress relief. Yeah, we'll, yeah, I think we'll keep going with the stress relief because I think we're onto something here. And like, so time management's a huge thing to relieve that because if you just stay on top of things, just recapping. But um, you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at the time. Thinking, uh, oh, yeah. It's four o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> on Friday afternoon. Time, you like, keep mentioning time management. I'm like, I better manage my time. <laughs> <laughs> just refreshing your memory. <laughs> Reminder. Ding, 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 ding. Um, so. I think another good thing is like what you were saying, just right on the back of what you were saying was the sport. Mm. I think even some sort of form of exercise. Yeah. That is so beneficial. Yeah. So beneficial. Just- I, I, again, talking from experience, man, like I, I do jujitsu. That's, that sounds so weird saying I do jujitsu. I always catch myself. I'm like, oh, I do jujitsu. <laughs> okay. Okay. You can't perform jujitsu. <laughs> well, practice the art. Practice the art of jujitsu. Oh, that sounds better. I it like does. the sound of that. And so I practice the art of jujitsu um, for. <laughs> does it? It sounds really <laughs> It sounds terrible. Um, anyway, um, so I, I do that as my outlet. And I just find it's, it's a good reset thing. Yeah. You know, it's, it'd be like the same as someone was going to the gym, going for a mad hike. I go on some hikes sometimes as well yeah. great yeah. great for just getting away from you know everything mm. you need to have your little you know you away time, time. Yeah. yeah you time that's yeah. it yeah you time what do you do man i i go to the gym i downhill mountain bike i hike as well you do you I, do I, I downhill do. mountain biking yeah, how yeah. good is that that is that is it hurts sometimes <laughs> <laughs> falling off much <laughs> falling hurt I, I'm not good at it by any stretch. Like, if there's one thing that I'm probably really super bad at is riding on a bicycle down a slope. Nice. And I'm just like, but I love it so much. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, can can you be so rubbish at something but still enjoy it? Yes. Yeah, it's just like it'd be like you doing jujitsu and not being able to like stand up straight. And I think that's the level of bad I am at downhill mountain. People look at me and go. Why did you buy a bike? You clearly can't <laughs> ride. <laughs> I've just worked out balancing. Leave me alone. I should have, like, if I could opt for trainer wheels and not look back, <laughs> I would probably go for that. That's how bad I am. But it's a thing that I like to do. Like, Dude, I, I'll that's give you a the sto- best. I'll give you a story. Like, yes. I've just br- bought this brand new 29er bike. Uh, it's, a, it, it's, it's probably cost me a little bit of money. And it has cost me money. As a uni student, all things cost me. So a 29 a bike? 29 inch wheel bike. Okay. All right. So it's a big wheel and it's way too big for me. But I don't know anything about bikes. I don't know about riding, right? Neither so, do I. And my first ever downhill mountain bike experience, I'm like, I got this shit, y'all. I got this. Y'all? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, you have to be homeboy when you're riding for sure. a bike, right? For sure. <laughs> so I've got all the gear on and I'm up there and I've, cl- I've gone up to the baddest ass mountain in Bow Desert. Like nice. it's down the road. Uh, and, I, and it's a competition trail, and I'm like, I got this, yeah. I got this. Go down this comp trail, go around the first bend, and just absolutely stack it. <laughs> just dint the frame, dinted my face, <laughs> dinted everything, ripped a wheel off or something. I don't know. There's blood and guts everywhere. I'm dead. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've stood up, and I'm like. Awesome! <laughs> Nailed the first corner. <laughs> so, would you just completely misjudged it? I just, I have, I just had no skill whatsoever. Jesus. Yeah, and I'm just going sailing straight off the edge. Nice, <laughs> and nice. And ended up into like the bottom in a heap, but I got back up again. But you that's know, it, man. It was leaking everywhere and stuff, but you know, it was fun. It was a good time, man. And that, probably, that directly relates to like everything in life, man. You fall over, and it's just you got. It's just how you get back up. Yeah, just plug the leaks and get back up. That's it, man. You got to get back up and do it. Be persistent. Be patient. Patient, mm. be positive and it's, just keep chipping at it and then that's the same and we can segue back to engineering we like, can we, we can, can do it we're doing it we're good um it's 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 a long long slog and it's a lot of hard hard stuff so it's uh you just hey if it takes one if you like i went down to two two subjects in one semester i because they were hard things happen man you don't want to fail one so you might as well just do two like and you know i was really like, just not feeling it <clears throat> so you just go bang i'll just do a bit as i can but as long as you know that you're going to finish it you keep going and you do finish it mm-hmm. man it's progress yeah Stefan, going forward it's Even one at a time if you have to. We, we have a saying in jiu-jitsu man it's mm. called inch by inch yeah and that's that's all it is man just keep going inch by inch by inch and it's just small steps and you take little steps over a long period of time man you're gonna you're gonna be 
mm. at a very far distance, of, you yeah, know, yeah. in the future, yeah. ahead of you. Ahead, man. You're going to be moving forward. And that's what it's about, progress, man. People. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Yep. People, man. This is awesome. Yeah, we have a saying in downhill mountain biking as well. Craig sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a nationally sponsored by no one. <laughs> this is great. So, dude, getting back to engineering. Yeah. Stress test. We, 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 we've gone over I the think, stress. I think we've covered stress. We've we got oh, yeah, that yeah, good. Yeah, um, get your outlet. Do your time. Do your time. Do you, and, and drink your coffee and you put the yards in. You know what I mean? Like you, 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 got, you got to do it. For sure. Do we want to do we want to keep keep this rolling with um, some favorite subjects, harder subjects, yeah, projects? Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Sweet man. All right. So shoot. I just favorite subject. So yeah, the favorite subject so far uh, in your um, engineering design student career. Design of machine elements. It's nice. Design of machine elements. So it's the obviously exactly what the title says. You're designing different parts of machine and how they different moving parts. So wow, man. yeah, explain that. Yeah, like um, it's hard to explain, but it's not at the same. You time. can do it, man. I'm running out of coffee power. Um, Have a sip. You want some water? <laughs> Water's good too. Oh, coffee's my friend. <laughs> There's water and coffee. Yes. Um, design machine elements. It's it was like I, I feel like that it's the it's the one that's most directly is mechanically it's only offered to the mechanic students so it's um it's the interaction of different parts of a machine and how those individual elements within that machine interact with each other so wow. you're like it's like a big system it's a, it's like stress analysis but with more parts i guess like so you've got different vectors going off left and right you've got moments you've mm-hmm. got bending you've got shear you've got Oh, all, your, all your fundamentals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all your fundamentals rolled into one little system or large system with a bit of materials chucked in. Well, yeah. I always, I always find it fascinating that we can just like figure out shit through numbers. It's crazy, isn't it? That's what I, blows me away sometimes, man. I'll just be sitting here going through like a calculation. Mm. Whatever it is, man, I'll, you know, just even something, mm. whatever. You're calculating deflection in a beam. Yeah. From, from a civil perspective and you're just like what the hell are we doing here yeah like, this you're is, doing it right you, you, yeah. you're basically predicting the future you've got like I's and X's and force vectors going out everywhere it's variables you're, man you're, it's you're just, like, what are you doing oh, like, it's, I, dude it blows my mind sometimes don't you think it's funny how we can do that uh, yeah I do I, I think it's good because we're over that hump you know it's what I mean you're over that math hump well, yeah, I think everything now is these. Sorry, uh, d- everything now is like everything you learned in your first two years is all coming back slowly, trickles in. You learn if one new formula here or there, and then you're like, oh, it's another one. It's right related to that. Mm-hmm. You know, I find that that a lot of it's you know like some of it's related on like uh, Newton's second laws, all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah but. <laughs> But um, do you find that when you look at a, a, a huge equation now that's got a lot of different variables, you just plug in the variables yeah, and, man. and you're like, boom. Dude, I'm doing a subject now. 120 megabytes. Oh, I'm, yeah, dude, I, I'm doing a subject now to, and um, basic, this very basic formula. And um, what is it? I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but it's just a very basic formula um, to calculate something and then they're talking about in the lecture how it's a very complex formula don't worry about this complex formula mm. but I don't know is that from just like <clears throat> us learning you know going through the process and then just you know you look back and go oh that shit's easy yeah is that is that what that is yeah, yeah probably yeah. I had the same thing for Envirotech that I've got at the moment it's like Gaussian's dispersion or something someone will fix that but Gaussian's dispersion it's like Chimney height. Based. You mean Gaussian? Gaussian dispersion. Gaussian. Gaussian elimination. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. Maybe he made a dispersion mm. thing, but it's just crazy. I don't know. It's not hard uh, by any means. Stress of means. It's nearly plug and play as far yeah. as like the equation goes. It, but mm. You look at it and you go, first year, I would have been like, wow. Yeah. Ah. Well, I think for a lot of people, man, they just see they see A, B, C, and they just don't comprehend that. It's just oh, the best. Yeah, it's yeah. that like it's just it's just fundamental algebra, really. Mm. Like the, the the formulas are very complex, right? Mm. The mathematics is complex, man. Like some of the math, are, like all the partial derivatives and how how they simplify it to that very simple formula. So all you have to do is find x, find y, find z, yeah. and plug it in. Mm. You know, there's only a few things to find for you. Like all the mathematicians have done the work for you. But once you understand the concept of algebra, I think it comes pretty easy. Because, yeah. like it, it, like you said, it comes back to just plugging and playing. Because once you once you figure out what you know, 
it's pretty pretty easy once you know the the method or the technique how to figure out the unknown. Yeah, yeah. And that just comes back to the work, man. Yeah. The practice, the time you put in and how much you want to learn it and know it and, and it all rolls back in and in and around. I guess we didn't cruise through the first couple of years and that way it's handy when it starts to get easier as you go. So For sure. Like looking at the guys doing it, uh, the the math, the big math course that we finished off last year or the year before. Yeah. Uh, that I'm looking Advanced at engineering mathematics. For the people that didn't yeah. know what we're talking about, yeah, um, the advanced engineering mathematics is pretty much you know, rolled up all in one big ball of math for engineering. Once you finish this, you do know you do you don't need any more. You do not need <laughs> you no longer need any more math for this degree that we're doing at this. Unless you're unit. specializing in like mathematics, yeah, yeah, that's that, right. That's like so you've gone as far as you can for engineering math. So you get this course done, and you're done for the math subjects. So let's um just. Give you a quick shout out. You're a wizard at maths. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, 95% in this engineering mathematics advanced course. <laughs> so we've got a wizard on our hands. Yeah. Anyway, put the back to, sorry to cut you off there. No, I want to give no, you a plug yeah, there. Yeah, thanks, man. I put the work in, though. So there Dude, you go. see, that's what it comes back to yeah. again. Yeah. And it comes back to the work. Dude, there were so many inches in that. And that's what I was getting with that. That's <laughs> 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 um, a good uh, – uh, you see how much work there is to do now for those second-year course – and you're like, whoa, that's a lot compared to what we're doing in third year courses. Mm-hmm. Um, there's not that giant leap. I think if you can get through the second year, I think you're okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what I was trying to get at. Yeah. I, I, second year was all right for me. My first first two years, I think that's all your, your base, the basics, yeah. basically. And then the third and fourth, you sort of, you start getting a bit more specific in what you want to do, especially like getting into doing your dissertation and stuff. Yep. Like I found that like, you, you do, you, you know, your fundamental, like with the civil, you got to do your geo, you got to do your water, you know, you, you know, you got to do your, um, building stuff mm. and then, but then you can sort of pick, you know, you got to do your traffic mm. and then, sorry, I burp over here. <laughs> <laughs> How's that bagel going? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. And then, and then you can get a bit more specific with your, um, you know, your final research project, I guess, because you know they're just they're just exposing you to the different areas, aren't they? Because you know that's why you come to uni, isn't it? You don't know anything, and you're here to learn. That's what these places are. They're just places that enjoy, well, not enjoy, but they're just like knowledge areas, where they're you know where you can come here and get information. Yeah. Knowledge, information. It's I, a, yeah, they're not the big, scary sort of place that a lot of no. people make out. Like, coming from a small town, I'm mm. pretty much the only one that went through year 10, finished year 10. There you go. Well, yeah, I'm the first one in my uni- uh, family, too, to come Winning. to uni. Yes. <laughs> Bones it out. Boom. Bus. Okay, so, yeah. Um, it's a good feeling. Yeah. So, you know, it's from my family, they're like, oh, don't go to uni. Don't do that. Too big, too scary, too expensive. Mm. Yeah, it's expensive. Mm-hmm. But at the end, when you get here, everyone's like, eh, you're doing uni. Yeah, who cares? No one cares. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, throw money at courses. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably because they don't understand. What was your favorite course? We forgot. We didn't do your favorite course. Oh, my favorite course? Yeah. Probably the geotechnical. Really? I really love the ground stuff. Dude, people hated on that so I love much. that course, man. I just, I don't know, man. I just... It's it's about the experience, and for me, like if I'm having a bad experience, it's just like anything, you know. If you have a bad experience, you sort of don't want to do those things anymore, you know. You whatever, you're scared of the dark, you don't want to go outside, whatever. And um, but yeah, you know, I just had a good experience with the teaching staff, and I don't know, I just like the content and you know the course material. Just I don't know, just the earth, it just interests me, I guess. You like, you like that. I like that, man. It's, like it, it. it looks good. You know, it tells stories. It's, you know. layers. it's layers like an onion. <laughs> <laughs> There's a story to tell there, but we, I just don't quite understand it yet. Yeah. But yeah, I, um, I think that, you know, so I'm sort of like, you know, every semester is changes for me because I'll be doing that subject because that's last semester I did a geo subject, so I got right into it. Mm. So, you know, like this semester it probably could change. Like I'm doing hydraulics this semester, so that's all water. Mm. So it could I'll be like after this semester, oh I wanna do I wanna do hydraulic engineering now. You yeah. know. It's but you know, you gotta keep an open mind though. Yeah. Because especially as engineer as an engineer man, it, your your job could be anything. Yeah. And you know, an opportunity could r- arise and you could you know, you might have to jump on that one day. It's it's pretty broad, isn't it? Even like a specific field like civil. It's so broad. It's 
broad. Well, yeah, like I was saying before, traffic, water, earth, you know. You've got to be a re- well-rounded. Yeah, and then you can go into your management and all that stuff as well. Get some paper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, man. So, um, so what about the worst subject that you ever did? Mass. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was, was that your favorite? Or that was the hardest day? That I was the hardest. It was rewarding because it's, the math was good for me because it's just cut and dry. It made sense to me. It's a perfect world. There's a definitive answer? There's no shades of gray. Yeah. You're either right or you're wrong. And we had, okay, the backstory we had the, um, this really difficult uh, German um, professor dude who was teaching it and he was pretty harsh. He'd be like, oh, we can't say his name. Mm. But um, he was like, as they are. Yeah, well, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So th- this is so the things I talk about a bad experience. This, this. Oh yeah, this. We. I find I didn't find it myself a bad experience, but it was oh, okay. it was a good sort of kick in the pants. You'd be mm-hmm. like, wait. Someone would ask a question in the class, and he'd be like, "This is simple. Is this uh, for babies? You, well, are you stupid?" I don't or like, like that. that. Hey, that's yeah. condescending. Man. And I was just like, "Okay, I will dominate and crush your course." Just because <laughs> I did not like you. Haters. <laughs> yeah. So I think that was a sweet revenge, <clears throat> getting like a, a pretty good score in that course for well, myself. But you I know. think that's an issue with like the teaching stuff. I'll be, then hey, because if they're, they're you're meant to be a lecturer, if you're a teacher, you're meant to be there to help. If people are asking questions. And, you, and you're just belittling them, dude. That's why we're there. He's a shit your lecture. So yeah, well, uh, yeah no that, that's crap, man. I think that's crap. To well, be I honest, that, that's how it goes at uni. You get your good ones, you get your bad ones. Yeah, no matter true. what uni you go to, you could go to Harvard. Well, then, and then you got to look at it from sorry, you got to look at it from his side as well. Like, how long has he been doing it? How many clowns has he been dealing with over yeah. the years? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know yeah, how yeah. many people go into that course thinking they know their shit, and he's just like, whatever. Yeah. Well, I've yeah. been. This is this is baby. Baby talk. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't think there's. I don't have the vocabulary sort of to, to describe some of the people that you do get at uni. Like, I think us hat is probably the, the, the only one we can. Have. Just got to remember, it takes all kinds to make up this world. It does. And it does, man. And you will see all kinds. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think for me, the most rewarding to get back to the original conversation, I think mm-hmm. the, like the most rewarding subject that I mm-hmm. did would have been. I think intro to uh, to the sciences, like first spatial master. science. Yeah, spatial science. Oh, you like that one? I did because you rocked up. You don't know anything, you know, you, and you're just like, here, this is what you'll need. The very minimum. Let's start. And you're just like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's easy. Mm-hmm. And it was an easy course. It wasn't hard, and I got a good mark for it. Mm-hmm. It was a first semester, getting a good mark for a course. Oh, rang home, and motivation. Like, ah, I got a, I got a HD. Wow. Nice. And you're like, and they're like, you're winning. And you're like, yes, I can do a uni. Uni's easy. And then I did math. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you did well, man. And it's obviously you put in the work, man. That's that's like we said. Well, you keep coming back to that because that's what it, it's all. It, as many times as we have to repeat that, mm, it's, it's the that, work. It is, man. Yeah. And, and you will work a lot. Like the <sighs> 10 hours is minimum 10 hours. Oh, that's a minimum. minimum. Well, you can scrape by. You can, you know, you're going to scrape by. But then, you know, that's there's a, there's a saying, you pay now or you pay double later. Yeah, you will pay double. You will later. pay double later. And, you know, it's better to understand the fundamental things because I think as well, uni, even though we said it's a key, it's all it's all about just learning the terminology, just how how they speak in like that area. Like so you understand when someone's saying, how do you – you know, calculate and whatever. Mm. And you're like, oh, okay, or, you know, you, or someone's talking about a certain, you know, topic and then you can relate at least. Yeah, and I think they deliberately also overload you with work to get you used to your working environment. So you'll be just doing insane hours. Mm-hmm. Like how many times have you hit one, two o'clock in the morning and you're still studying yeah. or you're still trying to get that assignment out for the next day? When my time management's poor, I'll yeah. be there. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> and we're at second, well, sem- well, maybe, second week now, semester one. Exams you know, come, as well. Come seven <laughs> weeks from now when you've got two assignments due tomorrow, you would be like, ah, 2 a.m. Ah. Yeah, we'll be on the podcast going, ah, yeah. We'll have to wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of like a three-hour convo, like ten minutes. Yeah. You're like, yeah, hey, cool, yeah. good, yeah, good. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> oh, thanks for stopping in. We've got to get out of here, man. But exam time is always tough too. What was your pre-exam stress? How do, how do you the the post or pre no pre um, exam stress deal? How do you how do you sort of walk into an exam not absolutely shaking like a leaf? Like, um, the first thing I do is. 
um, well, I'll, you know, you go to the lectures, ask your lecturers questions, anything. So you get the past exams as well. Yeah. Practice those questions. Also practice other questions in, in the text that are relevant. Find out if your lecturer are the ones that you probably need to study. Get as much info on that. Exam well, yeah, you just you yeah, can, you, yeah you want you want enough, but you want you want to you want to do an, like a decent amount of work because when you go in there, you, you get stuck with a formula sheet, and if you don't know the process, you're pretty much mm. and you you got a very small window of two hours. When some of these problems, man, you'll find out when you're doing them like in an assignment, they'll take you hours to do. Yeah, yeah. That will take you hours. And then you've got to like condense all that work you did over in the semester into like two hours. Yeah. So you've got to be on the ball. And repetition is, pra- like, I think, practicing similar or not similar but just practicing getting very familiar with the, like, the, the um, like technique or procedure, method, whatever word you want to use for, for the thing that you're doing, yeah. whatever it is. Just be very prepared. I guess just, just, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. I think it's like exactly on point. I think that the more you do of that practicing again and again and again, mm-hmm. the, the more you're going to dial in that <clears> subject. Um, and it takes the stress out of it too. If you're going in there thinking, well, uh, I've done all I can, I've practiced till like stupid o'clock, mm-hmm. I know the subject, mm-hmm. you go in there, you get a C, meh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing you can do about that. Well, you did the work. You did the work. So Sometimes you aren't going to, you know, you're not. You know, at least you know in yourself you did the work, man. And then you go have a giant beer afterwards. <laughs> like, fine, I'm good. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's always a cold hard beverage after an exam goes down well with the all boys. Seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's not stop at one. <laughs> we are Australian after all. So yes, yeah. we're known for that stuff. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say something on the back of that, but I totally forgot. <laughs> what was he big? What about a biggest tip? Like, what is your biggest like uh, life hack for uni? Like, as far as you, you've used, like for me, USB on the car keys for me. USBs, man. Uh, USB on the car keys. That way, you don't leave them in the computer. How many times have you walked away with your USB stuck in the side of the computer with everything? Gone? Oh. Or how many times has your computer crashed? Yep. And you haven't backed it up to a USB. Yeah. USB to on the car keys. That's probably one of the things that you probably don't think of. What? Yeah. Definitely. That's one of the, yeah, a definite life hack. A USB with everything backed up on it. I, I've got one in my bag. No. But uh, yeah. I've got like five, just yeah. in case. Oh, dude, I, that's, the, that's the worst, especially when you've done something yeah. and then... It fizzles off or, into nothingness. Yeah, it just vanishes into the abyss and mm. you're like, where's that gone? Or you save it onto the uni hard drive like on the US on the Google Drive for the university and then you get this email after you've come back from yeah. summer semester yeah. and they're like, oh, we deleted everything <laughs> off the, the drive. And you're like, oh, cool. You deleted all my university work for the last three years. Uh, thank yes, you. Thank, thank you very much. How about a punch in the face? Because what happened there? They, they just had a full changeover. Just house cleaning because their servers are all full and they're mm-hmm. like, meh, we just delete everything. Ah, <sighs> Without telling anyone? Yeah. Well, they told well, us? They, t- they, they sent you an email like a day before yeah. they did it. Probably in your spam folder. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> with all you. What, uh, what other life hacks, man? I think I think bringing your own coffee, like we said, is probably a huge. That's don't volunteer for anything. Yeah, don't volunteer. Don't be don't be an ambassador or a a life coach to anyone. It's going to be hard for you. Yeah, time management. Time. You need that time. Yeah. It, it, that's it, for it, other people <clears throat> to, who have that spare time, who don't have the workload or the intense subjects that you will have. Because you know, you're going to be an engineer, you're not going to be. That's it. Something else that's easier. Well, yeah, I guess it's it, it probably would be beneficial to do it if you can, you know, if your time management's awesome. But that's when it, the, the deeper you get into the engineering, the, the more you, you realize how valuable your time is. Yeah. It, you, it it really does. It does like the time, and it goes so quickly, especially when you're into it. Like you, you're doing a few problems, even just like worked examples <laughs> or just going through some readings, man. Ooh, doesn't that time just go by? Yeah, well, I had a quiz last night and I had to do up my own Excel spreadsheet formula thing. Yeah. To, to, well, okay, I didn't have to, but it's easy on Excel. Well, once you, yeah. Yeah. Well, you see, I'm uh, sorry, I made my own equation. Well, spreadsheets is probably another huge one. Excel, Get good at Excel. Excel only, and Wolfram Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> the best website in yes. the history of the world. Wolfram Alpha. <laughs> Subscribe. Yes. The, the pro now, like, you know, yes. like five bucks a month, well spent. You spent, <gasps> you spent well, like a thousand dollars on a course, and the five dollars is worth it. I think. Oh my gosh, that is probably the best investment. I'm a student. T-shirt. I need a t-shirt. T-shirt as I'm, well. Yeah, I'm gonna wear the logo a is cool. It is cool logo. Yeah. Damn, but, that'd be a cool sponsor for the podcast. It would be probably brought to you by Wolfram Alpha. Subscribe. Getting people through university for years. Yeah. <laughs> 
well, man, the calculator is so advanced. Yeah, full steps. And it's like even that. well, yeah, it shows you work solutions. Yeah, look like about YouTube as well. And YouTube, yeah. Well, man, I um, my first couple of years was Khan Academy, man. Agreed. Agreed. Khan Academy saved my life. And then there's, Thank there's, you. There's the calculate calculus tutor or calculate calculus expert. She's a oh. girl, and she's like, "Hi, everyone." Like oh. Every single time, and there's probably heaps of them now. Hey, yeah, but she's like the she was like the best one for the differentiation for the engineering. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah she and I had a massive crush on her. But oh, that's yeah. Story, yeah. Oh, it was like three o'clock in the morning. And <laughs> you're doing differentiation, and you're sitting there going, and then you click on this YouTube link, and it's like, hi everyone. Okay, today we're going to do differentiation, and you're like, mm. oh. Okay, you seem pretty. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Yeah, pretty girl, you must believe everything she says. <laughs> it worked. Psychology. That's well, that's good, man. Whatever gets you through. But. That's it. That's it. That's that's uh, something I really. YouTube, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, learn it's, by YouTube. It's a free source of information. Mm, it's good. It's great, and you know you can, and you can pause it. And I think that's that's a I think that's another thing we could probably talk about. I don't know. We've been going for an hour. That's a solid effort. A solid effort, but if we want to. Do you want to wrap it up? Um, yeah, we can wrap it up. Well, yeah, we can we can leave off the bat on that, man. We can like leave the off. YouTube tip. I think that's probably the best tip you'll get. Learn by YouTube. If Learn you by get stuff for sure. It, and you know, don't be afraid to ask your lecturers. Always, you know, your co- your students and stuff as well. Like people that you're, you know, in the class or even on the forums. Because mm. they're people that they're, they're there to help and they should help. But if if not, man, always fall back on um, good old YouTube, YouTube or other textbooks as well. For sure, you've always branched out to other textbooks. Yeah, because nine times out of ten, the uni textbook that you have is going to be rubbish. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you'd be like, ah, this one or this mm. one or this one. It's almost a scam, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit. That's a, that's for another day, though. It's brutal. Yeah. Well, that, that's definitely. It's a good topic. That though. that was. So yeah, I think we'll wrap it up there. With the we'll finish on that. Sounds good. Sounds awesome, man. That was an awesome podcast. That was great. Um, so high five. Boom. Boom. Oh, that was a bit loud. But yeah, so <laughs> that's it, man. And podcast one. Podcast number one, man. One of many. Hopefully. We did it. 